What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be replacing the stock trunk, uh, although I do have a BMW Performance style spoiler on it already with a Sybin CSL style carbon fiber trunk that I got from Colorado and 5X. If you haven't already checked out the last video where I installed the M3 style carbon fiber hood from Colorado and 5X, be sure to check that out. I'll put a little card up in the right corner here. But uh, I'm excited to get this thing on today. It's got a pretty aggressive duck bill in the back that's integrated into the trunk itself. I just think it looks badass. And uh, my goal is to save some weight while making the car look a little bit more aggressive. And I think this is gonna do just that. So the first step is getting the uh, stock trunk off and then I'll weigh that thing, see how much it weighs weigh that thing, see how much less that weighs, and then go about getting that installed onto the car and hope that it fits as good as the hood did. So as you can see, I've got this thing stripped down. I've got the struts disconnected. I've got the whole harness here pulled through. Uh, the strut disconnected on this side. And uh, as you can see up here, I've got the third brake light, the emblem, the two license plate lights, the handle, the keyhole, and the license plate holder. All popped out, removed, disconnected, unclipped, yada, yada, yada and uh, basically all pulled through there. Here's all the parts I pulled off. If you're doing this at home, be careful on this third brake light. I broke mine, um, but if you have a one series, these are really common to break. I actually already replaced it once because this broke originally. So um, just be careful with that, otherwise you'll have to buy another new one. They're prone to breaking. I'll probably end up just getting a new one. Um, here's the latching the license plate lights, the handle, the lock mechanism, the screw, the hardware, some of the tools I used, um, all kind of disassembled because I gotta swap all this over onto the carbon one. My first step is actually gonna be undoing the two bolts that hold this trunk on and then this thing should just pop right off. Looks so weird with the trunk off. Can't say I've ever taken a trunk off a car before until today. But man, that thing looks funny without a trunk. Uh, these are the two trunks next to each other here. Overall, a pretty similar design. It shouldn't look too, too much different, other than I know this is a higher kick and a little bit edgier kick. You can see that's a smooth flow where this kind of juts up and then goes over, and this should be a lot lighter. And it's obviously carbon compared to the black. But now I want to weigh these things. So I'm going to bust out the scale and figure out how much they weigh. Today's weight is 144 on the dot. So first up, let's see how much this thing weighs. If I'm 144, this is 170.4. Oh. So if my math serves me right, that is 26.4 pounds. The stock trunk weighs 26.4 pounds. Now for the carbon trunk. Let's see how much this thing weighs. Again, it's considerably lighter. I can definitely feel the difference. Let's see what this thing says. 159.2. So 159.2. Minus 144 is 15.2 pounds. So 15.2, uh, 26.4, uh, 26.4 minus 15.2 is an 11.2 pound savings. Not huge, but I mean it's still 11 pounds and I'm getting rid of a not very cool stock trunk in place of a much cooler carbon fiber trunk. I'll take it. Oh 
Okay, so I've got uh, the wiring ran up through the new hood here and I fed it up and I've got each connector coming out of the proper hole. Um, the only thing is, is I don't know which one of these is the third brake light and which one's for the latch. So I got to figure that out and route one there. But these are for the uh, license plate lights. I've already found that they don't fit in there. It's so close, but it's either going to require some dremeling of the trunk itself here or on the back of the connector. It's kind of hitting at these two ridges here. So uh, I'm going to think about what the best thing to do is and I'll update you guys on what I end up doing to get these to fit in there. Okay, as you guys can tell, I'm sweating. This trunk has really made me put some elbow grease in to get it to uh, fit and latch and to get everything transferred over and all that. As you can see, it pops open just like it should. I've got the license plate lights in, the handle. Um, I couldn't get the lock in, so you'll see I just have some electrical tape right there for now, just covering the lock hole. Not too worried about that. Uh, these did require me to shave down the license plate lights there uh, to get that in. Just I ended up, I didn't want to mess with the trunk, so I used a file and kind of shaved them until they both fit in. As you can see, the handle doesn't fit perfectly in there, but it's in there and it works. The third brake light uh, is in. That was pretty easy with just the four bolts there. I got the harness tucked all up in there. Um, but it wasn't the most fun thing. I would say the hood was definitely easier. As you can see, I've got only one strut holding it in. They advised not to use both, so I left the driver's side off. I had to bore out this hole a little bit with a Dremel to get this grommet to fit back in there. Um, I mean, it went together. This took some fiddling, the latch, to get it to properly connect down there. As you can see, you know, it won't shut just by light force. You kind of got to slam it there and then it stays shut. Overall, I would say the fitment is good enough considering that it's carbon fiber. The only real problem is, I mean, right up here in the corner, the body lines don't match up exactly. The carbon kind of dips below by maybe a half inch there on each side. Um, otherwise, the gap is a little bit bigger than OEM, but at least it's uniform. There's no areas where the gap is really bigger. It's a uniform gap at least. Uh, you can see here that the trunk sticks up slightly higher than the body but all this stuff is just like nitpicky stuff you would never notice it if you're looking at the, uh, the spoiler from you know just a little bit away here I'm definitely gonna get some shots of it outdoors in the sunlight uh, overall I'm, I'm really happy with it with the weight savings with the way it looks Everything just took some finesse to kind of get it on there. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this trunk down in the comments, so please drop a comment down below. And make sure you subscribe, because I do have a lot of cool content coming up. I hope you guys have been enjoying this build so far. There's definitely a lot going on here, and there's even more to come. So give me a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.